The Brightest Star in the Sky premiered last week, March 25th, 2019, and featuring Wang Zetao from Negotiator and Janice Wu from My Amazing Boyfriend. It's been rising in popularity with fans ever since it started airing. I watched the first few episodes of it and want to give you guys my impressions of this new drama. When I first read the description of the series, I didn't think I'd like it, but when I started it, I found myself binging on the series. It's pretty watchable. Anyways, my name is Anton. Thank you for joining me today. This is my Brightest Star in the Sky first impressions video. Let's begin. Z-Town used to be in the South Korean boy band EXO and as such has a lot of music experience. So, of course, he sings the main title intro. It's pretty catchy. I like it. He's the main lead playing as Zhang Baizu. In one of the first scenes, a director yells at some of the backup dancers and Zitao intervenes and makes him apologize. I wonder how often that really happens in the real world because I know people in this industry tend to get bullied a lot. I also get a bit confused how they portray Baizu in this drama. Is he kind-hearted and considerate? Is he a cold-hearted jerk who only thinks about himself? Is he humble and willing to do what's right? Or is he arrogant and will get into fistfights even though when he knows he's in the wrong? There are scenes that somewhat contradict each other, but hey, we're still early in the series, so I don't know his true personality yet. Anyways, we see Janice Wu playing as Yang Zen Zen, and I'll be honest with you guys right away, I'm watching this drama for her. I like the little cut scene of her explaining her history during the interview. I'm a sucker for little creative bits like this. Yang Zen Zen is a character we can relate to. She had a passion as a child, but never got encouragement. She met a lot of failure growing up, but she always still tried her best and never gave up. But the realities of real life has forced her to find a job. There is a lot of fluff and filler scenes in The Brightest Star in the Sky, by the way. I thought that they could cut down on many of these scenes into half the time, but overall the plot and character dynamic is funny. I fast forward most scenes that don't have Zitao, Janice, or Nu Jun Feng, the second male lead who plays as Zen Zen's initial love interest. Anyways, Zitao's acting is fine, but Janice's character is where the acting really shines. I'd say the chemistry between them is a lot of her doing. Not to say that Zitao's bad, but her personality and interaction with all the characters is what makes it interesting. I smiled at the scene where she talks back to Zhang Baizu. I like her bursts of confidence and determination. Sometimes she will have scenes without Zitao, and I didn't find those very entertaining. The story arcs from the support characters also didn't really keep me interested, besides Nu Jun Feng who plays the singer that gets his song plagiarized by Zitao's agency. I had to fast forward through a lot of these scenes simply because I didn't feel for the rest of the characters. I was still trying to get a feel for our main leads whose relationship and interactions with each other are slowly developing even at episode 4. This is a 40 episode drama and you can really feel they're trying to stretch out the series as much as they can which is unfortunate. Anyways, despite its flaws, I'd be lying if I said I didn't enjoy the series at all when I was watching. It's not bad and if they actually cut out the fluff it would actually be a really good show. For my first impression scores, I would give it a solid 7.5 out of 10. It's actually very entertaining, but it gets dragged out too much for me to be able to give it a higher score. Maybe that will change when I finish it and give it a final review score. In summary, if you're going to watch this drama in full, without skipping, you might have a hard time. Personally, I didn't find the scenes without our main leads very compelling, but in the scenes where they do appear together, their chemistry hits the spot just right. Have you guys given this one a chance yet? What are your thoughts on it so far? What did you think of the chemistry between Zitao and Janice Wu? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, if you liked the video today, please hit the like button. And remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this in the future. Thank you for watching, you guys. And as always, have a great day. Bye.